welcome to my channel Life Law Bin. Everybody. welcome back to the channel I am very happy to see you guys today um, and today I really want to be speaking about the fact that I successfully obtained pupillage and really to tell you what I learned about how applicants can secure pupillage now through God's grace I was supremely fortunate really um, in obtaining pupillage and this would not have been possible without the assistance of my family uh, mentor close friends as well now please note that obtaining pupillage is a notoriously difficult process it's all about preparation 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 and of course luck now let's talk about some things that you can do um, before the pupillage gateway opens again uh, so let's get you into tip-top shape for those uh, applications now if you haven't done this already it's really really good to subscribe to inner temple library current awareness digest now i subscribed uh, to the current awareness digest now for about a good few years it keeps you up to date about all the practice areas in law uh, all the hot topics in law everything that is happening currently um it, it it has case analysis sometimes some of the leading judgments in a particular area and things to really be on the lookout for in a particular area of law now obviously it can be a bit overwhelming because it comes daily but i recommend that you just have a quick skim through it and you easily identify the things that you think would be most uh suitable for your reading as it pertains to the law. I would also recommend if you don't have one, get a mentor. Get someone who can provide candid advice and help guide you through. Now, there are a lot of mentorship schemes out there, so I do recommend getting involved. Get a mentor because sometimes you can easily find that your mentor can offer guidance, can review your CV, and really just help you along this really difficult protest, pro process. <laughs> now, please do participate in competitions. You may think that you have a long time um, before the gateway opens again in, in February next year, but use the time wisely. What you want to be doing is enhancing your CV and continuously re-innovating yourself. So just make sure that you're adding things to your CV that are beneficial uh, to obtaining that pupillage. Now, participation in competitions are definitely something that can help. Advocacy competitions like mooting as well, um, witness handling competitions. These are things that you can find all over the internet. Um, if you're on legal Twitter, join it. A lot of information comes, comes through there. A lot of information comes through LinkedIn and also look at the ends as well. The ends, ends of court offer some of these competitions. They also offer essay competition. So please do look at, look at those things. These are things that you can easily write on your CV and speak about um, in the upcoming application season. There are also cash prizes involved as well. And who doesn't like a bit of cash? We all know that most of us are cash, cash strapped then uh, pursuing this expensive process of becoming a barrister so i would involve um encourage you to get involved remember to apply for many pupillages these are always excellent ways to shadow barristers to get to really know the culture of a chamber's environment before you truly apply now we all have that dreaded question on an application you know, why us? Why do you want to obtain pupillage at this specific set? You know, conducting an, a, a mini pupillage or going on a mini pupillage and shadowing and getting a sense of their culture would help you easily answer that question. Because guess what? You can pinpoint things that you found beneficial on a mini pupillage, you know, highlight persons that you shadowed and, and the activities that you were able to get involved with. 
The good thing about many pupillages is that you can actually shadow firsthand uh, barristers, see particular practice areas that you're thinking about going into practice in. Um, and as I stated before, you, you would, this would all help you in answering that question, why us? For those of you who are thinking about pursuing the GDL or about to pursue the bar course, remember that scholarship season usually um, is later on in the year, so around November time. So apply for scholarships to fund the GDL and or the bar course if you haven't completed it, completed it as yet. And you can apply for those scholarships uh, via the Inns of Court. So just go look up um, the Inns of Court and look for the deadlines for those things review your cv this is very 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 important review your cv for gaps so the first thing i did um just before i went on the bar course and also after the bar course i looked for those gaps the gaps in the cv so i knew for example for myself what i wanted to work on in the upcoming year is gaining legal work experience working full-time gaining that experience. And also, um, although I did have a wealth of advocacy already on my CV, I wanted to get a, a practical sense of advocacy as it works within the law, hence becoming a county court advocate. So I highlighted that and that's something that I noted and I said, right, how can I um, go about acquiring that experience? I also wanted to obtain a few more mini pupillages and that's something that I did do. So make sure you truly, truly critically reflect on your CV. Um, don't, don't approach it um, in a lazy, fail, lazy fair way, um, approach it critically because in the end of the day, at the end of the day, you will be helping yourself, you'll be putting yourself in a better position to apply for pupillage. Also, you can also ask your mentor um, to review your CV uh, or a friend, you may know a person that has obtained pupillage, someone that can be candid with you. You will find also that the careers advisors at your university will be very, very, very helpful and key uh, with this kind of exercise because they see so many students, they know what is necessary to be on your CV and they will tell you um, through a candid exchange, look, you need to work on X or work on Y. Don't shy away um, from what we'll be seeing as um, weaknesses in your CV. Use the opportunity over the course of the year to strengthen them. This also helps if you would have already applied for pupillage and you've been rejected and they gave you a specific reason. For example, if they told you, well, we find that you don't have enough advocacy or we found, found that you don't have enough mini pupillages, you take that um, as constructive criticism so that when you apply the following year, you can say, look, last time you told me I didn't have enough advocacy. Here is what I um, did about it. I went ahead and I became a county court advocate or I went ahead and I participated in mooting competitions and I won um, or I placed in, in this, this particular competition. You want to be telling, showing, demonstrate, demonstrate it to them that you actually have gone, uh, you've, you've taken their constructive criticism on board and you've worked on that. Also look at paralegal opportunities in, in the practice area of your choice. Make sure though that you are really assessing the nature of the role. Um, obviously the more involved in client handling and negotiation and those kind of things that, that you are um, involved in, that that's gonna be very helpful when you want to uh, speak about it in your pupillage applications and interviews. So always think about um, before accepting a role, I know we have to think about money, but think about, you know, how can I actually explain or convey to a panel what I've learned from this particular uh, piece of work experience? I mean, it's, it's always good to know how to prepare a bundle, but it would be even better if you can say, look, I've worked in this particular uh, area of law and I was entrusted with managing all the negotiations with clients um, and liaising with the barristers in X and Y and Z. So I have a firm handle on the law as it pertains to this. 
No, there's also opportunities to apply and work as a judicial assistant. So make sure you're looking at the government websites and the jobs and stuff like that. International applicants, um, please do make sure that anytime you're applying for any of these kind of roles, you have the right to work. Check to make sure that um, there aren't any specific restrictions affecting your ability to apply. You don't want to be writing an application and then recognizing that you're successful and then you're ultimately rejected um, because of your status in terms of right to work. So always investigate these kind of opportunities beforehand, call the potential employer and ask a question. Get involved in your INS uh, pupillage schemes. Some uh, INS of court invite their barrister members to volunteer to review your CV, review your pupillage application, sorry, um, ahead of the season. So I believe Gray's in last year did it around November or so. I think you have to submit around November um, and then the person in charge of your application would get into contact with you and be able to review it and go through things uh, with yourself show you your weaknesses, show you your strengths, maybe tell you how you can approach and answer a question in a better way. Some of the ins and some other schemes as well also conduct mock interviews. Please do get involved in those mock interviews. You will find that that, that helps a lot. Interviews are about practice, practice, practice. And that's something that you can do later on in the year. But I just want you to be aware of that. Now, earlier on, I created a vision board of my goals. So a vision board, this is what you write down, everything you want to achieve as your short-term and long-term goal. And obviously for me, developing Life Law BIM as a brand was one of my goals. Um, I also wanted to become a county court advocate, you know, to acquire further legal experience and to also enhance uh, the wealth of advocacy experience I already had on my CV. Uh, and these are all things that I wrote down and I wrote steps on how to achieve each and every one of them. So in terms of life law, BIM as a brand, you already know that I communicate with other people to come onto the channel and share their journeys, their experiences. And we continue to produce quality uh, videos in terms of becoming a county court advocate. I researched and realized that there were a number uh, of agencies that you can pursue this type of work experience with. I looked at the recruitment cycle for each of them because each each agency has a different re recruitment cycle. Um, but I would encourage you to 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 research them. There are agencies like LPC Law, Quest Legal Advocates, Ashley Taylor's. There are quite a few that you you can you can look into. I also was keen at the time um, on becoming a barrister's assistant because that is also an opportunity. I know some people that do do that. So what I did is I made a list of the chambers within my circuit, um, which would be the North, that I would be keen on assisting barristers um, as a barrister's assistant with their research and their preparation for court. Um, at that time, there wasn't any luck for me in terms of any no, no barristers were hiring at that particular time for a legal assistant, but all these things are worth um, doing and you do this through your vision board, you need to see your goals, you need to plan. Um, create a logical and sensible plan of action doesn't make sense to have just a broad overarching goal and no steps uh, as it pertains to how to get to it. I also encourage you to look for vacancies continuously on legal Twitter, LinkedIn, and Indeed. These are all things that can help you, um, guide you. Remember, as I said, assess the nature of the role. I would encourage you as well to attend workshops and webinars. You're already watching this, this video. And if you've gotten this far, congratulate yourself because these are things that would help you. Other people's experiences help you to succeed. So build on what um, other people experienced in terms of applying for pupillage, any pitfalls, any strengths, anything like that, you learn from others in order to succeed. So go ahead, attend those workshops and webinars to find out what others did. Subscribe to the YouTube channel um, to, to keep engaged, to keep being engaged with the quality content. There are also some legal recruitment agencies as well that you can check out. Um, some of them include 
places like Galarby, Evans Solution, Flex Legal, Flex Legal, <laughs> Taylor Root. There are quite a few places. Um, if you just do a quick Google, you can get in touch with a, with a legal recruitment agency. Sometimes it involves submitting your CV and they will, they will assist you in determining uh, the best place in which they think you may, may fit. Um, as I did encourage county court advocate positions, those are excellent. Please do check out my video on um, the life of being, the life of an advocate really, uh, for lack of better terms. Now, that is really a whiz through all the things that you could be, should be doing um, in the year or years before applying for pupillage. Um, and obviously, we prepare, prepare, prepare uh, in the hope that we do get some luck as well when we do apply. But I want you to be in the best possible position to successfully obtain that pupillage. Thank you for watching this video. Um, please do remember to subscribe, like, share, comment, reach out to me on any of my social media platforms. I'm always willing to engage and always willing to assist. All the best guys, and I'll see you again on the next video. Have a good one.